Hello, what's up guys? And we're here again for another deck tech for the standard with Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I'm quite excited now as of the previews because of the new cards uh, spoilers that uh, somewhat engaged me again to somewhat do some deck brews. But despite this uh, deck feature today is somewhat already an existing uh, deck maybe in the format uh, metagame, it's quite made be on the tier 2 category now but uh, maybe with these new cards from Outlaws we can uh, assume that uh, this can be again uh, going up to the top tier deck for the format so let's explore this deck which I call this one as the OTG Mono Black Crime or just uh, plainly that of a Mono Black Agro deck so this list has somewhat uh, engaged me to do some criminal actions or committing a crime like this one for example we have a forsaken miner this is the new one drop that i've included the deck wherein whenever you commit a crime you may pay one if you do return it back to the battlefield so in any case this is a very good card advantage in board advantage per se and also having to getting you back that of a constant attacker and a creature per se on your board now let's proceed now to check out the lineup so this is an aggro, hence we have 26 creatures in this build. We check on the one drops of the deck. So again, we have the playset of Forsaken Miner. And then the Cold Conscript from Dominar United, which is also another playset in, which I included in the deck. So this card is uh, already way back in Dominar United, but has uh, simply got out of touch in the metagame. But its ability is that it can also do some recursions by itself wherein you can just pay to return it to the battlefield and activate only if a non-skeleton creature died under your control this turn so in any case you can have a non-creature cards in your deck we have several cards here that are basically non-skeleton -cre non creatures so in any situation you can just pay two to return it to the battlefield under your control so that with the other uh, one drop in the deck are the two copies of the above sleeper so this is again my creature of choice here in the deck because uh, not only going for a one one or you can evolve later on as a two two and it is also a good mana sink in the deck because of this ability that can later on become a three three become a card draw effect with this uh, third ability and also becomes bigger voting up some sun counter and uh, drawing a card and of course losing one life with that we have again the two drops which uh, of course we have the deep cavern bat as our best creature of choice under this mana cost category you can also uh, notice that uh, it can trigger the crime because you are targeting your opponent's hand and then you can also exile a relevant nano card from it therefore delaying most of their place for example and also you get to know what will be their next move which is also very important for your uh, deck setup because you are an aggro deck for this uh, kind of instance so with that we have four copies of that in the deck and then there's another two drop in this build which is can also do some recursions later on are your two copies of tenacious underdog where did say the blitz uh, ability is very essential because they can also get you to draw a card as it uh, casting from your graveyard but of course at a cost of two life which we, we won't uh, really uh, matter with because we are already an aggro deck so life doesn't matter counts on this kind of uh, deck strategy now for your three drops we have uh, variants here as you can notice we have uh, several one ofs i'm really again a fan of the one of cards in the deck but uh, each of these cards has probably have its purpose hence you won't really need to have it right away but in any given situation you can be at of your advantage by casting this specific card on that kind of scenario but uh, let's take a look first at the two of copy which is braids a racing nightmare this is the card that i think would really uh, somewhat suffice in your uh, deck strategy because of having also to sacrifice your creatures since uh, we have a few one drops here which uh, do some recursion effect so with braids in play you can just go with this trigger to sacrifice another a creature enchantment or land or planeswalker if your opponent would not really do that wherein he would not uh, share a sacrifice by sharing the card type that you've uh, done they would uh, lose two life and you will draw a card so another way 
lose two life is uh, important against your opponent uh, being you as an aggro deck and also cardo effect to get you a gas given to your hand and to also to refill your cards for your next uh, batch of uh, aggro creatures now for the geeks young Morphator, so this is of course the default uh, uh, three duck for most of the current uh, black red black green aggro deck so we have also including this in the deck i've only chosen one because if you would not really need to go with the uh, cardo effects because of uh, this is uh, somewhat of a father for the removal so we may need to just maintain your aggro early on and just cast geeks only if, if your opponent is tapped out for example because you can have a full potential of card draw from that uh, play so with that we also have great virtuous passer so this is now the one of the probably a good three drop choice in this deck because it can also trigger the crime because it exiles a 200 card from a graveyard or basically from your opponent's graveyard it can protect itself by this ward ability and at the same time it would matter in the current uh, meta game because of the graveyard shenanigans from that of the lands deck the team more control land so having this one in the main deck would also give you some sort of an answer and also flipping this one into graveyard bluton would make it more effective when it uh, goes into the night bound effect so with that we have the new card again curve the punisher which is i've only considered one but it would be, really be a relevant card nevertheless because whenever you commit a crime you can exile up to one target black card from graveyard and copy it and then you may cast the copy if you do you lose two life so copying cards means that you can copy spells for example uh, spot removals discard effects also copying creatures like uh your early uh, two drops for example that has uh, died in a spot removal you can use this one to relate effect so if you uh, get to this one if you copy permanent spells they become tokens that are basically also very important for this kind of uh, setup so anything that you can have that of the copy you can just pay two life for that effect but uh, having that kind of advantage would really be important for this kind of deck build so with that for the three dubs we now proceed to the four dubs which is consists of the three copies of blood letter of aklas thoughts so this is now the default from lci which can make your attackers very efficient because of your opponent would lose life during the attack they would lose twice that much life instead so a very efficient attacker per se on its own it can also do some evasion in addition to that also i've considered defiler with flesh because this is also sort of a mana uh, value deduction because of its ability that whenever you cast a permanent uh, black spell you can pay two life so those spells cost one black mana less to cast if you paid the life this way this would only reduce the amount of black mana you pay but that uh, kind of setup would make sure that you can uh, develop your board better at the cost of life and also have this trigger effect that whenever you cast a black permanent spell target creature you control gets plus two plus one gains many so in any way having a many creature would also mean that you would have an efficient attacker making your opponent's uh, creatures difficult for it to block and at the same time can deal uh, damage uh, uh, with an additional person plus one now for your lineup for your enchantments and their spells we have again uh Pachan arena as a default uh, card draw for this deck as it's also considered in the previous uh, reference list that i have found or so also added only one copy of this and do take note that this is also a permanent card a black permanent card per se so it would also benefit that of defiler of flesh and the only removals here is uh, the two copies of bitter triumph uh Lina of the veil would also act as a removal and discard effect and also efficient for your deck because you would also just need to discard those skeletons and then return them return them later on whenever you trigger a crime for example you can have your opponent sacrifice a creature then just pay one to return that uh, permanent into play and then your other uh, spot removal that i've considered is the copies of annihilating glare so this is also a good way to pay one and sacrifice your recurring skeleton to destroy a relevant creature or planeswalker the only drawback is that it is only on the sorcery speed but nevertheless you just need to go with a card advantage because it's only one mana cost to play and also duress i've considered in the main deck we can maybe add more the sideboard later on but this would also uh, go with the purpose of uh, the committing the crime trigger for most of your uh, creatures here like Kerberic 
and Forsaken Miner, for example. And then last but not the least, are your last uh, lands? I mean, we have 23 lands in total. We have two Akinoma as our channel land for the black, 17 swamps. I've uh, considered also Mishra's Foundry as an additional attacker, then it can also become a 2 2 assembly worker, artifact creature until end of turn. And also, I've uh, signed up to be experiment card of a desert because of the jagged balance included in the main deck that's two copies. It would only have a drawback to go into or comes to the battlefield tap, but the important thing is that can also trigger the crime effect because you can deal one damage to your opponent. The damage effect would also be very efficient in cases that you would need to do some extra damage and also can do produce black or red. In any case, I might add black lip clips in the deck if in the uh, sideboard would be finalized by splashing red as sort of the uh, sideboard card choices for this deck. But uh, for now, we just need to only have two copies of Jagged Barrens to avoid that uh, the top effect and would need for us to be consistently having some untapped swamps to pay off for this curve of your aggro creatures. And last but not the least, we need to check on our mana curve which is surprisingly low because of course we have a few uh, man drops in the a lot maybe I mean for one drops and two drops and just basically going with the four mana value as five copies and uh, it would just function pretty much for a, an average aggro deck for this uh, kind of build and card distribution is just basically all black no need to really discuss on that and surprisingly we have no tokens and uh, extras but uh, maybe with the new build i might post this one with the sideboard uh, completed already we might have a black red version for this build not really that demanding of uh, mid-range black red or let's say uh, components uh, mostly of uh, half half of black and half of red but i would still go with the uh, aligning with the eight of the uh, fi uh black mana cost in the deck in this deck so i think that's pretty much it for this build i have uh, checked that it has uh, adjusted somewhat with the 58 but uh, this adjusted i mean is that we can have more of your two drops or three drops and think we can add more of the blood letter of aklasots and then uh, additional copy of uh, geeks so we have two and four that's basically having also as a 28 creatures in total with uh, 23 lands and also the rest are just spells and spot removals so i guess that's pretty much it guys i do hope you get the idea already I think we can still see some of this gameplay in the upcoming Outlaws of Thunder Junction once it is legal to play in Standard. You can see probably in Arena or MTG Online. And uh, let me know if you can still have a uh, function or, or it is one of your deck projects in the coming uh, Standard with the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Again, guys, thank you for checking out this, this another deck tech for OTJ Mono Black Crime. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you guys on the next video.